yeah so hello everyone uh, so today uh, we are going to discuss a new approach not i would say the entirely new approach but a more of an intuitive approach rather than going in for you know the already discussed solution of uh, that algorithm of uh, that theorem for that matter so uh, this approach is i would say more of an intuitive approach we're going to observe uh, you know the various observations possible and try and basically come to the solution so you know just to sum up the uh, question the question is uh, that you are given basically an array a consisting of n elements and your task is to basically find whether you can create a number k which is also given to you uh, and the number k can be formed by you know uh, using the uh, operation of 2x minus y uh, this particular operation this means that you could choose a number x uh, and a number y from the array itself and you know apply this operation and you need not to replace any of the elements but rather you could insert uh, this newly created number 2x into uh, 2x minus y um, to that uh, collection of sets uh, and uh, you know apply the further operations to create uh, the number k so yeah uh, so So uh, to uh, approach this problem, uh, first of all, we're going to see uh, key what all numbers actually, you know, with the available set of numbers we can actually form. Let, you know, let us actually uh, keep the number K, which we want to generate uh, aside for a minute. And let's, you know, think of as to what all numbers actually uh, can we, uh, you know, form uh, with the available numbers by applying this operation. So for this, uh, you know, let us uh, first of all, uh, you know, look at the operation that we are allowed to do. The operation is some 2x in 2x minus y. So if we, you know, uh, basically um, disintegrate this expression, we could say x plus x minus y. So let us observe this x minus y. What is this x minus y? This x minus y actually represents the difference um, between any chosen number y and the number uh, with which you are actually going to create a new number. So basically x is going to be our chosen number and y is some other number present as some other index let's suppose basically j. So what we are doing is so what all numbers can actually be created with the help of this x. So with this x we could actually create the difference. Uh, we could actually add all the multiples of this difference x minus y and how also that is basically you know you could actually dry run some of the cases and find that if we have some x and uh, you know this d this d would actually correspond to the difference of those numbers which we have chosen at index i and at index j so if v of i minus v of j is some you know let's suppose d so we could actually create x plus d x minus d x plus 2d x minus 2d and and basically you know all, all such numbers so basically what i could actually say is that uh, we could actually create uh, so basically we could actually create all the numbers uh, basically of the format of x plus some k into d where uh, basically let, uh, let's you know uh, basically remove this k let's suppose basically some k1 into d and uh, you know uh, basically what this x is x is any element from the array itself k1 is actually we could have you know it's range from minus infinite to infinite because i'm saying ki all the multiples are possible so the positive and negative multiples are also to be taken into account so uh, the k1 can have its range from minus infinite to plus infinite and what is d d is all the possible you know uh, the differences uh, between the indexes i and j so with this number x we can actually create x plus k1 into d and k1 can range from minus infinite to infinite and d is the difference so uh, with this you know we could actually have an example let's suppose basically there are four numbers a b c d and the difference their consecutive difference is basically d1 the, uh, between b and c it's d2 and between c and d it's d3 now a good observation a very good observation in this problem actually is we are you know pretty sure we've already proved that we could create x plus k into dis uh, basically i've already proved now basically we can uh, create x plus k1 into d kind of a number uh, using any of the x present in the array so now the question comes how can we actually reduce this problem because k into dis would actually range a lot because k has its range from minus infinite to infinite and these are possible basically n minus basically uh, corresponding to any number there, there could be n minus one possible differences so you know this would have a very large range to iterate over so how can we actually reduce that range so for that what we can actually do is we are pretty sure that we can you know create numbers of the format of well, basically addition or subtraction of some some k1 into dis basically dis representing the difference of those two numbers okay so if somehow we are able to disintegrate this dis well, basically if we are able to find out that smallest number 
which is you know um, divisible by uh, which actually divides all the dis that could be possible in our array and you know so that particular smallest number could actually be integrated with this k1 with this k so basically what we could actually have is now the problem would actually reduce to this you know the statement of k dis being disintegrated into k1 some other k1 uh, into the smallest di and the smallest di if you, you know think a little bit as to uh, you know i'll actually explain why uh, this smallest di is actually you know the gcd with the help of this example but uh, we'll come to know later on that uh, this smallest di would actually be the gcd of uh, all the possible di's okay so just you know to give you a glimpse of as to what i'm actually trying and basically say is let's suppose basically there are four numbers this a b c d and uh, the uh, consecutive difference between them is basically d1 d2 and d3 so um okay uh, so uh, having said that uh, these a b c d are the four numbers and d1 d2 d3 representing the um, consecutive differences uh, between these uh, numbers uh, what i'm actually gonna you know claim now is uh, that with a as the number what all numbers can we create i've already said that uh, with using a we can create a plus some k times all the di's with a which are possible and what all di's are actually possible so if you know want to create a number using a and b the di would be d1 if you want to create a number uh, using a and c the di would be d1 plus d2 if you want to create uh, the number uh, using a and d then the uh, di would be d1 plus d2 plus d3 so similarly you can say for di's for b would actually be equals to d1 uh, d2 and d2 plus d3 and so on for all the numbers a b c and d so once you are clear with uh, you know what all di's actually uh, are gonna be for uh, these numbers a b c and d now what we can actually say is uh, basically what what the question demands the question simply demands that uh, we are pretty sure that a number would actually be of the format of uh, x plus k1 times d and uh, in this you know statement i already showed you that this k into dis basically which are all these basically dis which are possible we need to disintegrate this into uh, you know something of the sort that basically uh, there's going to be some smallest di uh, with which if we multiply you know some other number it would equal to this particular product so what would that mean this would simply mean that all the di's would actually disintegrate into this k1 into smallest of di this would actually be equal equals to i would say the di's which i've already written in this particular statement so this di's would actually be equal to some k1 times the smallest di so you know what all glimpse uh, basically what glimpse actually you get with this statement you know this statement actually says that the smallest di you know this variable the smallest di variable has to be equals to the gcd of all the di is possible now the question is totally done once you have actually come to this conclusion and why this conclusion because we want uh, that basically all the di's should actually disintegrate into something of this sort k1 into some 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 common numbers let's suppose basically g so what that g could be actually equals to matter basically let's suppose basically we have numbers a b c and d if we want that all the numbers should actually get reduced into some g into a factor so for that what this g can actually be equals to so g is you know gonna be simply equals to the gcd of the numbers so basically what we're gonna say is we need to calculate the gcd of all these possible combinations so rather than calculating the gcd of all these possible combinations what we can actually do is we can again make a claim that if i calculate the gcd of these consecutive differences d1 d2 and d3 if i am able to calculate the gcd of these consecutive differences i'm gonna pretty sure you know make uh, i'm gonna you know basically make sure that let's suppose basically that gcd which i've calculated of these consecutive differences being g then you know we can simply write d1 is gonna be equal to some k1 times g2 is basically gonna be equal to some k2 into g and so on so all these numbers all these di's would always be of some format of some ki into this g so i'm gonna simply make a claim that all the ds would then be basically divisible by g so yes now the question is totally complete so now what we are gonna say is if for a number x we were pretty sure that uh, what all numbers can we create so now this k1 into d has been disintegrated and we can say that we uh, what we can actually create we can simply create x plus some number multiplied with the gcd of the consecutive differences 
this is basically the uh, i would say the entire question so now the question is totally complete just to reiterate uh, i would say uh, how we started we actually disintegrated the operation 2x minus y we wrote it as x plus x minus y with that we actually came to the conclusion that with this expression uh, corresponding to any element x of the array we are actually adding the difference between any two chosen numbers so with this we can actually we actually came to this conclusion that we can create this x x plus d x minus d x plus 2d x minus 2d and so on so with this what i'm actually you know trying basically say is uh, corresponding to any number x we can actually create all the possible multiples be it positive or negative of the d as possible okay so with that we actually came to the conclusion of what actually are d is so with this you know example i actually showed you what actually are going to be the d is so d is you know are always going to be matlab basically there are going to be many ds possible but we cannot actually you know find all the ds and then basically find its gcd it's going to be a huge you know a tiresome task so what we are actually doing is we are actually using a very smarter approach and we are just calculating the consecutive differences because uh, the uh, di between a and c would actually be the sum of d1 and d2 the di between a and d would actually be equals to d1 plus d2 plus d3 and if i am making sure that there is a number g which divides d1 which divides d2 and which divides d3 so if i am choosing the numbers a and d uh, whose di is actually equals to d1 plus d2 plus d3 then for sure i'm pretty sure there's no need to basically prove it the number g would always divide the sum of those numbers because the individual elements are divisible by that number g so with that done uh, i'm going to basically find out the gcd of the consecutive differences once i have that i'm going to simply iterate in my uh, array of numbers and going to simply find you know k minus v of i if that is basically divisible by the gcd calculated if the modulo comes out to be zero then the answer is going to be the yes otherwise it's going to be no yeah so now basically i'm going to go through the uh, code the code is very very simple uh, we have taken the input of all the numbers uh, then basically you know this is a statement that you know was the main crux what all numbers can actually be made the numbers can always be made of the format of x plus k1 times the difference of i and now we need to basically disintegrate the difference of i and that we actually very smartly did by just calculating the gcd of uh, you know the consecutive differences so what i'm actually doing is i've taken a variable gg initialized to zero calculating the difference between the consecutive elements uh, and basically taking out the gcd of uh, these elements and then iterating in a loop if you know uh, corresponding to the number that we want k minus because k is the number that we want to generate so if k minus vi modulo gg that is basically it divides then basically uh, you know if remainder is zero that means it basically divided so then basically flag is going to be true and we going to break and print yes otherwise it's going to be false so um, you know the question was more of i would say a uh, very deep insight observation rather than implementation because as you can act, uh, actually see the implementation is very simple uh, but yeah uh we were actually required to you know see what all numbers can be generated with a you know generalized formula x plus k into d and then basically try and basically deduce further d uh, how we can you know integrate a factor of d in in the k itself in the k1 itself so with that we actually disintegrated d uh, into the gcd of all the possible ds uh, and that also we you know very smartly calculated by just calculating the gcd of the uh, consecutive numbers so i hope the uh, solution was uh, pretty clear uh, and you know if you guys have any doubt you can write in the comment section okay thank you